Welcome back to my channel. Happy election day. I got up bright and early and went to vote with Ben. Kind of feels my election outfit here. Requested through my Insta stories, you guys wanted to get a Q&A, so let's get started. How are you doing mentally with everything that's going on in the world? This is a really big loaded question. I think that I'm having a transition time now where it's a little hard because I got so used to being able to be outside at least, even though we're still in a quarantine lifestyle. You can still be outside, you can do things outside. I was going for a morning walk every day. Now that the weather is getting colder, I feel more confined to my apartment and I don't love that at all. Being someone who is in social media, I don't have an office to go to. My office used to be different coffee shops, going to events, so I felt like I got out enough. But I was also a part-time student, so I was going to college once or twice a week. So I was getting that social experience. And now, I don't have anywhere to go. I can't work in a coffee shop, there's no events going on, only virtual ones. So it does feel overwhelming and lonely at times. So it's tough. I'm nervous about it. Um, I'm trying to, as you guys see if you follow me on Instagram, I'm trying to keep myself busy, make schedules, keep myself productive, and always schedule time to see family and friends so that I do have that in-person relationship and get to see other people and not just be stuck at home. What is your fashion inspo? I feel like my style sometimes is a little bit all over the place. I don't have one distinct look. I definitely love feminine things, floral dresses in the summer, flowy dresses, but then I also like to be a little more cool, blazer, jeans, a little streetwear. I get my inspiration from and I want everyone to never be afraid to express your style differently, try new things. Living in New York City definitely helps because there is something called New York street style and I'm always looking at what people are wearing and getting inspiration from that as well as looking at TikTok and Instagram. I'm always scrolling seeing what other people are wearing. I also love Pinterest so if I have a look in mind or I've seen someone wear something I'll google that like let's say blazer styles into Pinterest and scroll through see how other people style blazers and get inspiration from that don't be afraid to go out to look and to discover new ways to dress what is your favorite season and why clothing wise i would probably say fall just because i love boots i love layering uh, jackets there's just so many different ways to change up your look but once it hits that cold part it's not so fun i don't like jackets Weather-wise, though, obviously summer. I love the heat. I love being hot. I don't mind being sweaty and sticky. I much prefer that over cold weather. How did you start getting a following on Instagram? I started uh, Sunny Zen Sangria was my previous name on my account. Now it's Butch of a Heart. I did a lot of research on how to start your Instagram. I watched lots of YouTube videos and read tons of blog posts, and I just started posting every single day and I definitely recommend that consistency is key you also want to have high quality photos make sure what you're posting has something to it and that will definitely make a difference to people who are scrolling through because there are so many people who are posting pictures you want your photos to stand out once I started doing that posting every day using hashtags I think that my accounts was slowly growing it takes time don't be discouraged. I had told Ben when I first started this that I needed five years. So don't give up right away. Keep on going. I promise if you're consistent, you'll see results. What's your favorite dinner to cook at home? I love all these questions. Um, I would probably say tacos. I love chopped meat and guacamole and salsa and all. I like putting everything together and simple and easy and tastes delicious. Did you ever move out of New York City? At this point in my life, I love living in the city. I do not want to leave here. If I could live here always with kids and afford it, I definitely would. I say that now. We'll see what happens. But for now, no plans to leave. And if I did live somewhere else, which was a different question, where would it be? I would probably say Miami or LA just because they have much better weather but the same kind of uh, outside experience, culture, things to do. Any advice for petite models? I would definitely say shoot from low down because that will make you look taller and your legs look longer. And 
Wearing things that are high-waisted is always nice because it makes your legs look long. What's it like having such a boss babe as a mom? It's pretty cool. It's really inspiring. It always sets goals for myself, like, I can be here, I can do this. So I try to use it as a driving force, and I'm always so inspired by everything that my mom has accomplished. Maintain close friendships when you're married. Someone said, I know it sounds silly. I don't think that is. I think it's important to keep your close friendships. Now, when people get married sometimes or in their in a new relationship, they can be really involved in their relationship and kind of lose friends or not give them any time of day. But I would really encourage you guys to take time for your friends because it is so important to have friendship and to have people and to have girls that you can hang out with and talk to and vent to because your husband can't be your only person. You need other people in the world and that's so important. I did get a few other relationship questions and questions about my religious journey. I'm going to save that for another time. So thank you guys for asking me your questions. Please hit the subscribe button, follow me on Instagram, follow me on TikTok, and I'll be back next week.